Welcome back to Looper Watchers. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to replace watch batteries and I have two watches in front of me. I'm only going to be replacing batteries in one of them but I have two to show you the different type of case backs. So this type of case back right here is a screw down case back. As you can see it has these notches all around it. This one right here is a snap-on case back. So right here, there's like a slit where it's already damaged where you just put a tool under and just pop it off. This is the watch that I want to replace the batteries in. So for that, I have this tool right here. This tool is dope. As you can see, it has two teeth in it that can easily just grasp these notches. I normally undo the band so it's not in my way, but luckily this band is big enough to where I don't have to do that. So I'm not gonna waste my time. Even though it could still be beneficial to me. And then you just un unscrew. <sighs> Some watches be on tight as hell. Uh, this one wasn't too bad. So now you just unscrew. Let's see. All right, now we got the watch open. So now, all the easy stuff. Just pop open this retainer. Take this uh, plastic retainer off. And then, as you can see, you have full access to the movement. And you can also see that little battery right there. So, I have a replacement battery right here. Duracell 364. Try not to use any like Chinese batteries from Amazon where you get a 20 pack for $20. Get you a quality battery. You don't want to mess your watch up with a cheap battery. So get you a good Duracell Energizer or something like that. Ah. Wow. Just tear this thing open like this. Just be invasive with it. Cool. Got my new battery. Now, let me just take out this old battery. See, this is why I normally just undo the band to get it out of the way, because this band being in my way, it just causes problems. Okay, got that out. Pulling a new battery in. Let's see if the movement is going. Let's see if the hands are moving. There we go. We're ticking, boys. We're ticking. Cool. Now, there's a rubber seal. You can see right here. It's gasket. Make sure you put the gasket back on. So I'm going to put this gasket back in place. So I can keep a watertight seal on the 
back of this. Ain't no one to stay in place. Get your ass down there like it's too small or something. It's definitely not get, getting in there nice like I want it. Okay, there it is. And this can only go in one way. So you don't have to worry about the way you took this retainer out. You can see is like from the crown. You see this metal bar right here. Obviously that's how the crown connects to the movement. And there's an opening right here. So you can't put it in the wrong way. So just throw that back over. Now it snaps in like what? I've been doing that the whole time. And just now it snaps in so easily. It's flushed. How did that not happen the first three times? I did nothing different, but that time it just wants to settle in place very easily. Okay. Got my gasket back in pretty much as good as it's gonna get. It's kind of actually too small because every time you adjust one side so it can fit inside the groove, another end of the uh, gasket pops out. So like this thing doesn't even fit really. Yeah, that sucks. So we're just gonna let it be what it's gonna be. case back will put it in place so throw that back on through my hand and tighten it get it where I want it to be throw this bad boy back on there Screw it down tight. Gotta make sure it's down tight because obviously this watch has water resistance. You gotta make sure it actually keeps it. I'm just uh, loosening up this tool so I can get it back into these grooves. Got it back on. As you can see, this band is a hell of a pain in the ass. Like, you would definitely be better off just taking this thing off or like undoing the band, to get it out of your way. It's crap. Doesn't make it no easier. Okay, there we go. And we're ticking. And that took forever. So obviously I'm gonna cut this video down and get it to a proper time that it should take. Cause that was ridiculous. But there you have it. I changed the battery in this watch and See you later.